university that can guide you in your following dreams? Then think the Catholic University Institute of Boya, the Growth Mindset Entrepreneurial University. The Catholic University Institute of Boya run an Afro-American model that helps students to become the best version of themselves. We train students to become job creators and not job seekers and instill in them moral and spiritual values. Admissions open now in the School of Business, Agriculture and Natural Resources, School of Engineering, School of Information and Technology, School of Health Sciences, School of Arts Education, School of Law and School of Journalism and Communication. We run H&D, BSc, MBA and Master's program as well as certification programs. In Boya, a campus is located opposite bilingual grammar school Moliko. In Douala, we are at Bonaberry, ancienne route behind Lycée Polyvalent. To apply, go to wwwcuib cameroonorg slash apply. Contact us now on 656-062-976 or 680-451-876. Special uh, good afternoon, uh, televiewers, uh, wherever you find yourself this uh, afternoon. We wish uh, to um, appreciate, first and foremost, your efforts in making sure that you follow this uh, program from your various ends. And uh, it is your number one uh, weekend program. Yes, it is CUIBR, where we give you the details of activities of the Catholic University Institute of Boya, as it was during uh, the week. Yes, it was a very, very interesting week in the life of the Catholic University Institute of Boya, the Growth Mindset Entrepreneurial University. And of course, we want to appreciate you once more for being there, for being a very fidel to uh, DMR TV. Yes, Divan Mercy Radio and Television is re meeting, uh, reaching out. And meeting with your needs and of course we're broadcasting live here in boya the legendary hospitality at the foot of mount faco the foot of mount uh, cameroon yes to, in today's edition of the program we shall definitely be uh, giving you highlights details as well of how of course um, we are the mevio cultural and development assembly mefkuda uh they were active they were actively live on uh, CUIB this uh, week. We shall be giving you details on that. Remember, we are partners with Mefkuda, so we shall be getting details on that. And of course, we shall be discovering uh, some students, freshmen to be precise. Freshmen will mean first year students in CUIB who are already making a difference with their entrepreneurial learning and uh, skills. But before we take on any transitional imperative, we shall right away get to the introduction of our panelists. Special good morning to you, Ojong Pride. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Ojong Pride Abebo, uh, student of the Kali University of Boya, studying graphic design and web development, HND, first year. Very interesting. Uh, we love the confidence. Uh, once again, we apologize for <laughs> for the morning issue. You know, we are we are the, the weather. It's quite cool, so it brings us back to morning spirit. All right. Special good afternoon to you, Safe Giscard from here. Good morning, everyone. My name is Safe Giscard. I'm from the School of Business, studying Human Resource Management in Precise. Okay, so uh, tell everyone you shall be discovering more of these young minds who have actually decided to uh, carve a niche for themselves to be not higher than their mates in the course of uh, CUIB uh, this uh, day. Stay back, relax. We shall be right back with details of many, many happenings in CUIB. I'm from CUIB. Of course, everybody thinks that school is one million or of course, this is our logo. I'm from CIB. Of course, entrepreneurship is a favor model of that subject. I'm from CIB. Of course, the whole thing we are at I'm from CIB. Of course, everybody thinks an iPhone is our school necessity. Right. I'm from CIB. Of course, our lecturers are the best. I'm from CIB. Of course, our school campus is very nice. You're welcome back to uh, CUIBR on DMR TV. 
your number one radio and television station that meets your needs as requested. And uh, dear televiewers, on uh, Wednesday, that is the 24th day of April 2024, um, we had um, Mefkuda. Mefkuda is the Mevio Cultural and Development Assembly that, um, of course, had an event at the Bush Hall of uh, CUIB. Yes, this event is as a result of uh, awarding uh, certificates of uh, participation, of course, uh, to uh, students of CUIB who were part and parcel of uh, this uh, great um, initiative of MEFCUDA. They had, a, of course, a capacity building workshop which were organized on uh, the 27th to, uh, of November to the 1st of December 2023 out there in um, at the new training center in Ombe. Yes, it was a very exciting experience for these students. And of course, uh, Mefkuda backwards with action by being there to ensure that they have a wonderful organization of uh, the particip- award of uh, uh, certificates of participation. And of course, it's time good enough for us to um, go and see for ourselves how things turn out out there. La- that's on Wednesday, 27th. Or 24th of April 
knowledge in other spirit as well to follow the footsteps of those who motivated us during the last workshop or not over. Last time we were just happy to see of us. That is not the situation of children. So we are expecting to see a very good number next that pleading here that Medina should not he should not organize this event next time without the team of four and benefit from the platform. Very soon we will be launching for example the Miss Mekura Beijing budget and as I have just read we are integrating all categories. All categories are welcome. Irrespective of your tribal, religious, nor political backgrounds. As I've just read, we are calling on the staff, the students, the management, the administration of this prestigious institution to follow us and identify the areas where you think your school or your students may comfortably take part and why not benefit from the largesse of the Koda and its partners. And this gives me the opportunity to recognize one of your students, to recognize a player who played with your club in the name of Tenazi Karika. Who was selected? Who was selected by our football scouts during the Mercura National Football Competition? And who will be traveling abroad in the days ahead of other equipment in schools? <laughs> Dear students, this is a success story. He played for the Catholic University Football Club last year. And it happens that he's amongst the five soccer talents that our partners selected for capacity building. Please give him a big round of applause. <laughs> what we are saying is that the platform is not a major village platform. It's not a tribal platform. It is just like a Catholic university. I guess in this university you have Baptist students, you have Muslims, you have born again students. Is it a university only for Catholic Christians? No, please answer me well. Maybe I'm wrong. Is it only for Catholic students? No. I didn't get that. Is it only for Catholic students? No. So whenever you have the opportunity, tell those who need to know that the Neville Cultural and Development Assembly is named Neville because the founder is the chief of Neville Village, but it's not a Neville Village Cultural Assembly. Thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, His Royal Majesty, uh, the Chief of Amevio, uh, Chief Ndiko Fonderson Henry. Um, of course, uh, given uh, background of uh, Mefkuda and uh, who and who, of course, are supposed to be part of it, it's, he made it very clear that it's not a Mevio cultural affair. It's 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 for everybody. Just like we have in we are in Syria, where whereas it's a Catholic university, of course. However, we have other Christians who are part of CUIB, even Muslims and other faiths, they are part of the CUIB family. They study, they, they, they work, they do things in CUIB. So, CUIB, we just want to remind all of us that we are an entrepreneurial university. We are a growth mindset university. This is why we have three basic arms in the university. We have um, the academic arm, yes, we have the entrepreneurial arm and the pastoral arm. 
you are very much welcome any day anytime to be part of the CUIB family and of course we wish we call it wish to appreciate the vice president for general administration in the person of dr gangum eric for of course uh, representing the president of CUIB during that event in the person of uh, reverend father bartholomew anyao who was um, unavoidably absent because of other uh, duties uh, which were very 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 uh, important for him to attend so we really really appreciate and of course we equally saw the representative of the governor of the southwest region of uh, cameroon the person of uh, mr Aken day zero yes he is the inspector number two out there at the Go southwest uh, governor's office he represented his excellency bernard okalia Bilai. of course uh, during the event we equally had uh, animation from uh, steve o the flutist Yes, Tivori Flutis, as well as uh, uh, dance from the Cameroon Dance Academy. Let's have a look.
Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> uh, what a very, very wonderful display there from uh, Steve-O, the flutist, as well as uh, dancers, some dancers from the Cameroon Dance Academy. Yes, Cameroon is doing it big. Two, three, seven, flying its uh, green, red, yellow flag right high there. And of course, we shall briefly go now to um, uh, what the representative of the governor of the Southwest region, uh, Mr. Ken Desiree, had to say, of course, the message uh, he brought from His Excellency Bernard Okalabiai, Governor of the Southwest Region of Cameroon. Let's meet the Inspector Number Two at the at the Southwest Governor's Office, Mr. Enken Desiree. The President of the Cameroon. University Institute where we are here represented by his vice. His Royal Highness Chief Mutiko Foundation here, Chairman of the Review Cultural and Development Assembly. The Director of Entrepreneurship CUI. Publicity and Marketing Coordinator with Buddha, members of the Organizing Committee, fellow students, dear successful seminar participants, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasant duty and honor for me to join you this afternoon in this beautiful hall of the renowned Catholic University Institute of Goya, representing His Excellency the Governor of the Southwest Region, who is unable to personally preside over this ceremony, all the awards of attestations to participants of the Reveal 2023 Capacity Building Workshop due to other high importance. On this occasion, he has instructed me to convey to you all, and most especially to the beneficiaries, his warm greetings and words of encouragement. Before we proceed, permit me to convey my sincere appreciation to the chairperson of the Review Cultural and Development Association, as well as the authorities of the Catholic University Institute of Goya, the Interpreneurial University, for this warm words of welcome, not only to me, but even more importantly to you all whose presence and participation has ensured the holding of this event. Ladies and gentlemen, this award ceremony demonstrates the commitment of Mefuda towards achieving the vision and mission that justifies its existence as a key stakeholder in the development of our region. I therefore find it necessary to commend the efforts of this prominent civil society organization in holding the flag of peace and sustainable development as a cornerstone in the promotion of our country's development agenda, in at fostering the economic, social, and cultural development of targeted communities in Cameroon and beyond. I am pleased to observe that over 146 participants took part in the November 2023 Mefuda Capacity Building Workshop, which is only 1,046. Sorry, participants took part in the November 2023 Mefuda Capacity Building Workshop, which held at the NAO Training Center in Mefuda. Dear 2023 seminar participants, I would like to appreciate your efforts in taking a decisive move 
and participating in this training workshop, which has yielded fruit that we are all gathered here today to celebrate. I congratulate and compliment you all for your devotion and commitment. Having successfully completed the capacity building workshop, I challenge you to get immediately to work for now is the time to use your capacities and contribute to societal development. Ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, I want to also acknowledge with profound appreciation the contribution of experts and Tama in the organization of the 2023 training. I am highly convinced that the interaction of this resource person with the participants were very instrumental during the workshop. I am therefore confident that this batch of trainees will join the group of many who pass through similar programs and are transformed by the quality of training they receive. While chairing the FUDA to continue in this same spirit, I want to also use this opportunity to encourage other organizations to embed this very praiseworthy example. Finally, may I conclude this brief speech by reassuring you of collaboration of the administration of the Southwest region under the distinguished stewardship of His Excellency Governor Bernard Okama Bilai to ensuring that organizations like Mefuda with admirable track records achieve their goals in our region. <laughs> Long live the Bivio Cultural and Development Association. Long live the Southwest region. Long live the one and indivisible Republic of Cameroon and our illustrious leader, His Excellency President Paul Bivio. Thank you for your kind attention. Special thanks uh, to the Governor's uh, representative and the President of Mr. King Desiree for the very, very um, elaborate and uh, brief at the same time, <laughs> of course, um, uh, a speech which uh, went a long way to summarize and encourage, of course, um, Efkuda. Efkuda is a partner with CUIB for years now. And uh, of course, we wish appreciate the communications officer in the presence of uh, Ole Christie for the very, very brilliant job that she and her team are doing at the moment. So we'll come back to the studio. Um, Ojong Pride, Tabe Ebop, you receive uh, um, particip uh, a word of participation. How was your experience at the level of um, Mefkuda? Uh, well, once again, good afternoon, you all. Like I said earlier, my name is Ojon Bright. Uh, the Mefkuda Development Assembly took part uh, from the 27th of November to the 1st of December. But unfortunately for us, we weren't able to make it for all of those days. But fortunately, we were able to be there on the 1st where we had uh, our cement camp workshop. Uh, during the cement can workshop, uh, we learned so many things. We learned the different types of cement that are being offered to us by the cement can company. We learned their different uses. And uh, we learned how to make a choice when going to the market, how to make a choice of what kind of cement to use. So I'm going to talk briefly on that. So for the types of cement, uh, we have the coastal, we have the sublime, we have the robust. Uh, we have the hydra and we have the maltics those are the five types of cement that uh, were proposed to us by the cement camp company and they gave the various uses i'm just going to briefly talk on some uh, since i cannot expand on all of them so uh, the maltics uh, cement is used the multi cement is used for mixture of when maybe let's say you want to tiles your house you want your house to look beautiful you can use the maltics combined with the sublime it gives you a a beautiful look without actually having to use paint yes yeah, so but what i actually really got from that experience from that workshop was the robust and the hydra cement 
because those are the two major elements, the two major uh, um, elements that they sell. With the robust, you can build uh, dams, bridges. This is solid for solid buildings, and with the hydra, it's for swampy areas, areas that are watery. So the the hydra has a an absorbing capacity to retain water. So why I say is it was my best experience was because I'm from Douala, for example, and in Douala there are so many swampy areas. And we see every day in the news where someone builds his house and in less than a year or two the house collapses. Collapses. Yeah. So through this workshop I could understand that it's not only about going out there to get the cheapest type of cement to build your house. You have to consider so many factors. You have to consider your area. You have to consider the risk of danger to others around you and all like so for me it's it's a good workshop because us the youth we can actually talk to our elders and give them advices that okay maybe i have my dad who wants to build a story building i will say no dad please instead of going for this brand of of cement it will be preferably due to the fact that we want to build on a swampy area it will be preferably for you to use the hydro cement so that was my experience at that at this cultural event interesting interesting of course that's uh, one of the main advantages of being in tuib because the institution provides opportunities for hands-on experience every time every day so we move now to you safer giscard uh, from here. um i mean i don't know how the selection process was but you found yourself there uh, on the canopy under the canopy of cuib how was your experience um during last year's um workshop at, out there at uh, the new training center in Umbe. once again <coughs> good afternoon everybody um my experience at the smencam workshop based at Umbe, the new training center like my friend here said he already outlined most of the important details in which were displayed so as he said there were various types of cements that we learn the their uses the type of cements to purchase in the market so i don't have much to say but that's all so yeah so, so let's 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 look at the maybe if you had any challenge did you did you did you encounter any challenge? I mean, maybe probably for more indication it was your first time. Did you foresee any challenge? I better still when you were there. How did it go for you in terms of the challenge and how do you how you overcame the challenges? All right. For the challenges, I will say yes, I have experienced in my house. Yeah, I'm a, I'm from Boya. So in my house I've experienced leakage. So when I went there, when they were talking about the the hydra, the hydra cements that came into my mind, so I thought of going to let my mom know on the type of cement in which she would have suggested for the pastry of the house instead of the ones the builders used, which was which were not solid enough for the for the house and. It turns out to work and stop the leakage so we're no longer having leakage in our house very interesting and of course we shall be having a display of uh, some uh, very important uh, moments of that uh, during that um, exercise out there during that uh, ceremony uh, mefkuda cuib yes we shall be having them now we see um, a word of um, certificate of participation we had many students who were awarded Certificates of participation. Interestingly, uh, equally, we had um, uh, Mefkuda that are gifted the university with three solar lamps. Yes, three solar lamps. Very interesting uh, to note that Mefkuda is uh, doing everything possible to um, um, be and solidify the partnership 
with uh, CUIB to make it even stronger than ever before. And equally, we, uh, CUIB equally received a recognition award, yes, for the wonderful, prosperous partnership that exists between the Mevio Cultural and Development Assembly, Mefkuda, as well as uh, the Cali University Institute of uh, Boya. And of course, we can equally support uh, the Director of Student Affairs, Mr. Malon, uh, receiving a award from Mr. Baba. Yes, Mr. Baba. And, um, you know, all these experiences is good to always come by. Ojong, will you love to have such an experience uh, again, uh, maybe this semester? Uh, obviously, obviously, for sure, because it's a very enriching experience. Uh, you know, they say school is not just about going and copying notes and listening to what the lecturers say in class. School is also about going out there, learning new things, even though they are not in your department of what you want to study. Because, for example, with this cement camp experience, I'm not a, I'm not a civil engineer, I'm not a builder. So, I would actually love to do that. Thank okay. You. <laughs> very interesting, very interesting. And of course, we'll get the final display of uh, those beautiful images uh, right away. See how, of course, uh, if, uh, the level of um, um, the organization was really, really top notch. Really, really top notch. Uh, we equally wish to appreciate the efforts of everybody, including um, our own um, uh, doctor, Dr. Ngangum, who does the, the solar lamps and um, we had a recognition a certificate of recognition uh, given there by the founder and president of Mefkuda, His Royal Majesty Chief Fonderson, uh, who equally is uh, a very, very entrepreneurial um, CEO. Yes, he's very entrepreneurial. So we appreciate the solar lamps from uh, um, Mefkuda and all of you who participated fully in that um, uh, very, very important ceremony out there in CUIB Boya campus. We shall take on a very quick transitional imperative. When we come back, we shall discover our freshmen even more. Stay tuned. I'm from CUIB. Of course, everybody thinks our school is one million. Right. CUIB, of course, this is our logo. I'm from CUIB. Of course, uh, entrepreneurship is in favor of that, that subject. I'm from CUIB. Of course, they all think we are algebra. I'm from CIB, of course everybody thinks an iPhone is our school necessity. Right. I'm from CIB, of course our lecturers are the best. I'm from CIB, of course our school campus is very nice. We have they were the neatest or the more the neatest campus in uh, Cameroon, yes. We don't only talk and do entrepreneurship, we equally keep cleanliness very close to our hearts and of course everything has to do with the university environment we ensure so right now we have a uh, freshman like i mean they've already introduced themselves and how, how how they got here but we wish to find out detailly um what inspired them first of all to study at the cali university institute of boya we'll begin with you uh Giscard. how did you find yourself in cuib and of course we know your student in the department of human resource management we I mean, want to get your inspiration. Where did it come from? All right. Well said. CUIB. I've always known about CUIB since when I was in the secondary school. Because I had my brother who went to CUIB studying the BSc program and now he's in South Korea by the name Safe Clinton which he graduated in CUIB with an outstanding, not only outstanding, like experience. Okay. Because CUIB is not just a place that teaches you just through pens, holding pens and writing. It also teaches you to go to the field and have some experience in which you can use them anywhere. So they are out there to bring out the skills which is already in you did your brother clinton study same similar stuff as you're studying or something else no he said he had distinction during the exams and all that no okay he studied mechanical engineering okay so he's now in south korea he did his masters there and he's done with 
what he 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 went there for. So he's now working. They so gave him a full time job. Okay, mm. so CUIB played a very vital role in laying that foundation for Safe Clinton. Yes, sir. Interesting. And of course, um, or John Pride, how did you find yourself at the level of the Cali University Institute of Boya? You said you're from Douala, you know, and all that. So, why Boya? Why CUIB? Upon all the numerous higher institutions of learning in Douala, talkers of Boya, Citadel of Learning. Well, first of all, I'm not going to lie, uh, CUIB was not my first choice. Okay. But due to so many out factors, like the fact that I to have my elder brother who studies his master's degrees here at CUIB. He's a current student? He's a current student. Okay. He graduated already, so just uh, the last December, the graduation. So due to that, he actually sat me down, talked to me about the school and let me know how entrepreneurial the university is and not only by speaking i could see it in his way of being in his way of doing the things he did so he studies finance so i could see that it's not only about the school it's about the opportunities the school offers to us so, and the reason why i chose CIB boya because the CIB Dwala, the reason why i chose CIB boya was because of the fact that i was study i wanted to study in the graphic design department but Unfortunately, for this year, it's not yet fully operational in Douala. So, I found myself here in Boya, which I thank God, by the way. <laughs> so, that's just it. CIB is actually the place to be. Okay, and definitely, we, we, we you talked about your, your desire to st st study graphic designing and all that. Before you actually made that choice to really, you know, because like he mentioned, we have, uh, we have one CUIB, of course, two campuses. CUIB, Boya Campus, CUIB, Douala Campus. In Boya, situated beside the same Muliko, and of course in Douala, beside Ansen Root, Bonaberry. Yes, that's what, around where we are, in uh, the Douala Campus. So now, we wish to find out, you, you, got, you, 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 you had your love for graphic designing, as we speak, you are a graphic design and web development student, CUIB Level 1. Did you have some love for that even before the university or university life? Yes, yes. I have always loved to design. Since I was a kid, I've always been good with my hands, like drawing, doing arts. So it has really been a passion since I was born. So I actually want to go further in the in the in the animations department. Animation is bringing inanimate objects to life, like you see this. Cartoons, cartoons, these uh, movies where and there's an explosion, all of those things fall under animation. So that's actually what I want to do when I grow older. So I've actually had a passion for this field for a long time now. And the reason why I, I had not actually found a place for myself was because it's a field that is not so much operational here in our country due to some factors that we are still like drawn back in our technology. But Fortunately for me, I could find that in Cal University of Boya. Interesting. And um, we shall continue with you before moving back to uh, Safe. We wish to understand how your coming to CUIB has actually met up with your desire to become what you want to become. How has your experience? It's your first year. You're a freshman. During the first semester, how was it? How is it going right now? Do you have the hands-on experience that you you, you 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 actually expected? Well, first of all, I'm going to go a bit personal about my life. Uh, this is my first time living alone, away from family. Okay. So already that he has made me learn a lot of things. Us as kids, we should just see our dads go out in the morning, come back in the night, and we're like, ah, he has just gone to work, or he's living good life. But actually, living alone makes you to think. It makes you to want to. To go out there and find yourself you have to pay bills you have to feed yourself and all the like so with all that said i can say i've made my goals because we have on hand practical studies at school i'm going to cite some of the softwares we use photoshop we use adobe animate those are just some of the softwares that we use for designing so i've had a lot of practice on my free time on my time at school and it has helped me actually build myself a brand. I've actually helped me to build a brand. And actually, I cannot say I'm 
the best out there but i'm still working to be but i'm already at a level where i can stand and be proud to say to someone i'm a graphic designer wow i mean just your first year and of course you're already doing things and uh being proud uh Safia, you uh, i mean another another field is human resource management uh as in school of business hnd and all that you know what are your own uh, objectives moving forward what are you what do you plan to do what are you what are, what are you doing or what is happening with you especially when it comes to the hands-on experience during your first semester and second semester now um well said i would say i have always loved to be a manager in general i love managing stuffs ever since i was a kid so i've been studying since secondary school i've been studying on the commercial domain in order to to keep on building my skill so i decided to to continue pursuing my my goals mm. to the university so calic university well during the first semester they were not like um teaching us our like our expertise courses okay. like um the human resource in particular they were still like teaching us courses like general courses yeah, like general. So english general. um yeah. french yeah entrepreneur accounting um and further and many others and many mm. others yeah so but this second semester we spoke with our with our lecturer so she said we are going to start we are going to start our main courses this second semester and she kept to her words and we began with our main courses and so far it's been real 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 nice because she teaches very well and we also understand what she teaches and that's helped me a lot interesting interesting we shall now you know we talked about um our young pride he made mention that he can be proud of himself to say he has a brand and this uh, our, our purpose here is to show you what the students are doing that are i mean i, I can say carving a niche for themselves and making things happen for themselves as early as the first year in the university Cal university institute of boya we have um Ojong pride Tabe Bob, the man from manu who of course has his brand already and is doing things who shall be seeing you know those are um designs from our graphic designer in the house uh a junk pride you can see you have your bed days is already into them food is live and of course we must eat to leave you can spot i mean some of the great designs from uh freshman a junk pride tabe bob those are other ones seminars stuffs um okay church related flyers you know we are in a technological world now everything is technology online you see seventh annual integrity conference on spiritual edification for improved versions of self so those are the things above is all around and this should be your flyer your this should be your brain your main your main brand flyer yes, sir. yeah so can you tell us a little bit more about what, we are, what is on the on display right now well um as you can see uh, on my flyer the first thing you will notice there is my logo mm -hmm. the logo up there that p you see in red to represent me pride okay p represent pride yes so i decided to to make the name pride design and printing solutions it's not just about my name it's because of the fact that i want my my brand to be a proud set of people who can who know that they can offer the best services and when you offer best services normally clients will come to you so that's why i chose the p as my logo and i just highlighted some of my works as you can see under mm -hmm. i highlighted some of my works there to give a visual uh, a visual understanding to others of what i do 
and then when you go to the headlines you see the services i offer uh, i do flyers logos i do uh, ads i run ads commercial videos uh, i do business cards i do invitation cards and other stuffs and when you go further down i don't only do graphic design like i said earlier being in school is not just about learning what you do in school i'm i'm somebody who loves to do research and through that i learned so many on-hand skills especially when it concerns the iphone so you can see there i do iphone repairs if there are so many issues today with iphone if your iphone is stuck on recovery mode if you forgot your password or if you have tried your password so many times and it has blocked your phone all of those stuff i unblock them and do you also do you call it fix iphone camera no okay. for, no not yet <laughs> that's that goes more to the technical level so i'm dealing more with software software okay. software okay. so that goes more to a technical level and i know i'll be there soon enough and right now i'm still learning on to add an additional skill which is unblocking of whatsapp because that's a problem we have so much today uh, you are just sitting and you discover their whatsapp have been blocked for no reason so right now i'm still working on that but very soon that will be an item i'm going to add to my skill set very very interesting and of course we shall definitely continue with the display uh, i mean we, i can spot you there just cut from here what was happening <laughs> all right this was the second this was on the second of december 2023 2023 uh -huh. when we went for the mefkoda the capacity workshop. workshop at ombe so we decided to after we decided to take some group pics to showcase that we were there yes so at the end of the day, I mean, we see a lot of uh, students. I'm, I'm gonna call it spot you pride, <laughs> right there, with your your mates, making sure that things are happening. Uh, representing CYB very, 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 very proudly, like your name, pride. Okay, so um, we we shall definitely uh, continue with uh, the program. We can spot them still. We shall continue with the program and um going forward we wish to find out from you let's begin with um uh Giscard. yes sir <coughs> how what do you do from here how do you go from here the viewers are watching you want to understand how you have you know you've you've you've, you've created a difference and how they can equally get to you for a service um uh -huh. right now i'm still like in a low-key way okay but i've always have something in mind to do that is why i chose uib because it's an entrepreneurial university that will help you to do like do do something outstanding yes so I've always been in for fashion. Mm. I've always been in for fashion, like fashion clothes, shoes. I'm still looking forward in that to like get my things ready and perhaps starting and even if it's an online business to sell online. But when, but for now, I'm still in a low okay, key. you're still, you're still so gathering the momentum yes. to make the, the the much expected difference because we're in a world, very competitive world, so we must be able. So right now, right away, you are already into graphic designing, freshman. You have the passion. You're already doing things. You already have a flyer. You already have offer services like we see on the flyer. Of course, we know that the viewers can get to you anytime, anywhere, anyhow. We have, I mean, we have made your your stuff to be visible. Now you are in school. You have you do you do these things while you know in school there maybe you have an office in school there a class you sit in the classroom where do you do all this all this lots of work well for now uh, I don't really have an office I can say my office is my room okay that's where all the magic happens so for now I'm still in I'm still a beginner I do everything I do all my designs at home preferably at night when pieces are calm and I can think I can walk without any stress there's no noise everything is calm 
so that's where i actually bring out my designs all right uh dear viewers uh, we shall take on a very last uh transitional imperative when we come back we shall be packing the bags and uh, leaving the studio I'm on CID, of course everybody thinks our school is one million, right? CID, of course, this is our logo. I'm from CID, of course, and entrepreneurship is favor more than other subjects. I'm from CID, of course, they all think we are eligible. I'm from CID, of course, everybody thinks our school is one million, right? I'm from CID, of course, everybody thinks an iPhone is our school necessity, right? I'm from CID, of course, our lecturers are the best. I want to thank you very, very much for being fidel to this uh, program. CUIB Ara comes up every Saturday from 3.30 p.m. to uh, 4.30 p.m. You have a rebroadcast of the program every Thursday from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Uh, come on time. And of course, last words right away um, to you, Ojong Pride. What are your last words? You have viewers watching, you have students who are in upper seats. Very soon they'll be coming to the universities and all that. So what do you have to tell them, the parents watching? What about your mates watching you right now? I'm sure they are like, hey, is not this guy in class. He's here, right? Yeah, he's doing things differently. Yes. And when you are with your mates, you must be able to create the difference. All right. So your last words, Ojon Pride? Well... What I can say to all those watching me, be it my friends, be it uh, the younger generation that is coming up, be it my family, what I can say to you is that don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on who you want to be. Life is not a marathon. It's not a race. It's a marathon. Take your time, build yourself up, and you're going to be there. And uh, to all those that are coming up, to all those that are, will be writing their GC advanced level soon, I definitely assure you that CIB is the place to be thank you thank you so very much uh, John pride and uh, to you Giscard your last words okay so I'm going to say I'm going to say CUIB is a very comfortable clean and educative area that means it's very quiet so for all of you my friends in yaounde for all of you who are still to write the gc all of you who wrote last year and didn't make it i assure you cib is a place to be you're welcome and they always welcome new members new students and in cib we all are family thank you thank you very much gentlemen for your time your patience and of course your sacrifice we wish to equally thank all our very very handsome and beautiful uh, televiewers who have taken time of their schedule very very busy schedule to be part and parcel of today's edition of uh, cuibr in which we talked about award of certification of uh, award of uh, certification as well as um, uh, awards for uh, participation yes from uh, mefkuda yes uh, during uh, that the uh, capacity building workshop that took place sometime last year and of course we equally talked about the how these young gentlemen are making a difference how entrepreneurial are they this early in their university life in cuib we should thank you especially of course uh, the bishop of the boya diocese who doubles as a chancellor pro chancellor of the Catholic university institute of boya bishop michael bb for ensuring that we have this program this day for making sure that the production is in order thank you so very much your lordship and of course so to you the president of the catholic university institute of boya reverend father bartholomew anyao we really, really wish to appreciate you for ensuring that coordination is done perfectly before the program comes on air and even afterwards thank you so very much father and of course to all the persons and the technical crew we really appreciate your efforts for ensuring that we have a smooth ride this day for cuibr and of course if you did enjoy the program join us again next week for another very fresh edition of the program cuibr remember it comes up every saturday from 3 30 p.m to 4 30 p.m we read broadcast on thursdays same time we wish to remind you that you are the best in your family and 
your generation. My name is Lingongo Oscar Musonge. May God bless you and have a beautiful weekend. Looking for a university that can guide you in your following dreams? Then think the Catholic University Institute of Boya, the Growth Mindset Entrepreneurial University. The Catholic University Institute of Boya run an Afro-American model that helps students to become the best version of themselves. We train students to become job creators and not job seekers and instill in them moral and spiritual values. Admissions open now in the School of Business, Agriculture and Natural Resources, School of Engineering, School of Information and Technology, School of Health Sciences, School of Arts Education, School of Law and School of Journalism and Communication. We run HND, BSc, MBA and Master's program as well as certification programs in Boya. Our campus is located opposite bilingual grammar school Moliko. In Douala, we are at Bonaberry Ancien Route behind Lycée Polyvalent. To apply, go to www.cuib-cameroon.org slash apply. Contact us now on 656-062-976 or 680-451-876.